And we just told the kids for sure where we're going. All right, guess where we're going. Do you like this campsite? Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. Yeah. Get up! Get up, horsey! Get up! Are you? Oh. Well, what's going on over here? Would you mind? Hey, big family. Here we are in South Dakota. We stopped at Elk Point Park and Campground. It's a little city park that also has a campground just electric hookups and there is a couple of water spigots, not even a dump station. A lot of uh, county and city parks in Iowa and South Dakota we've noticed have little campgrounds that you can stop at for a night. Only $15 for a camping fee. So it's a good place where we can stop, do some work, rest for a little bit, and uh, we'll show you around. There's a little playground over there. It's pretty nice for a small town. The kids really enjoyed it. The city park is right across from us and they loved being able to go to the park while we were here. I'm really squinty. It's bright outside and hot, sweating. So I'll show you the park real quick. It's a dumpster for trash. Here's a trail guy. There's some trails around the park and town. Some softball fields. I've seen some signs over there for they were South Dakota State champs. Good old water fountain. Playground for little kids. You probably hear the noise, the interstate is right there behind us. A couple slides. Swing set there, another swing set there. Swing set here. A little pavilion, some picnic tables in there. These trees give a lot of shade. The playground is bright in the sun now, but there's some shade over here. I said it was hot, but it's really only like 85. It's a nice playground for a small town anyway. And uh, there hasn't been many people here. So the kids kind of had it to themselves. It's a big grassy area over there, a bunch of trees. And then here's some of the walking paths. This one goes around the playground. Horseshoe pits. 
don't know if you guys can see that. Wood sculpture of an eagle. A little pond over there and the walking trail kind of meanders around through there, comes all the way back and up through here. Like I said, the interstate's right there, but uh, really didn't even hear it too bad. Just a couple times, most of the time we couldn't even hear it even though we're close. That's counted, it looks like there's about 20 sites. There's some 30 amp hookups, 50 amp hookups, and then there's some fire pits around. We didn't use it, it was left over from previous people. It has a concrete base, that's easy for them to clean up. The only downside to this place mosquitoes are bad even a lot of places in the day the mosquitoes will kind of subside um not here not here the uh sun's up they're still swarming all over the place lots and lots of mosquitoes other than that it's good this is the first spot we stopped we didn't film much up until this because we we're pretty tired we're gonna try to film more of the journey along the way and uh we'll show you guys so we're gonna ask the kids where they want to go on the bus and where they think we're going in the bus. They really don't know exactly where we're going. We didn't tell them yet. So it's gonna be a surprise for them too when we finally tell them exactly where we're going. They have an idea, I think, but we'll see what they say. Okay, where do you want to go in the bus? Travel. Where do you think we're going in the bus? Alaska. Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> where do you want to go in the bus? To the to Disney World. To Disney World. Okay, where do you think we're going right now? Mm, I think we're going to Disney World. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Where do you think we're going? Alaska. Okay, where do you want to go on the bus? Yeah, I kind of want to keep that a secret. You, okay, where do you think we're going on the bus? I still want to keep that a secret. <laughs> Where do you want to go on the bus? Alaska. Okay, where do you think we're going? Alaska. Okay, where do you think we're going in the bus? Um, maybe Alaska. Okay, and where do you want to go? Alaska. There's a nice little spot just to um, stop for one night. $15 a night, you can stay up to seven nights. There's on the sign it did say they approve for longer stays than that, but um, without full hookups or a dump station at least in water, it'd be hard to stay that long. For a family anyway but great place just to overnight stop 15 bucks it's pretty cheap we're gonna get back on the road hey, I was hoping you would stay but I've always known that you would go find your own way So feel the wind, watch the river run, and the sun would always shine. When we sat there, you and I, the river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone. All right, so we spent the night last night in North Dakota, it's boondocked, and we just told the kids for sure where we're going. So, that's what that looked like. All right, guess where we're going? Alaska. Alaska. We're Disney going. World. We're going to Alaska. Yes. 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 That's it. Oh, yeah, actually? Yes. Mm. That, that's it. That's exciting. I'll actually my, my guess. 
And now we're gonna try and cross the border. So hopefully everything goes good. Life is a winding road 